Because you backed into this place. But why did you look where you were going? What kind of dri driving do you call that, anyway? Ernest! Romy! Well, out. How are you? Okay, what do you mean by giving us a little slip like that? Yes, well, I thought I'd better drop out of sight for a while. I tell you, man, don't misunderstand me, but if a fight is any use to you, for old times' sake... You know, Romy, that's funny. Because the last time we met, I refused to help you. Yes. You should make me feel pretty ashamed about that. Honestly, I, I thought you were Roly. No, Ronnie. Nice of you, but uh, put it back in your pocket. And thanks. Okay. Hey, Ronnie. Oh, excuse me, Melvin. Don't stand there arguing with that chauffeur. It's a miss. miss. He's working as a chauffeur. Hey. I'd like to speak to him. No, wait for me. I'd like to speak to him. Oh, very well. you like to engage a good chauffeur at your service. It wasn't very nice of you to chuck us all just because you had bad luck. Yes, well, uh, care a chauffeur's wages, you know, hardly. I know. A chauffeur's wages for the whole year wouldn't buy one of the things you gave me. No, I think you're right. First, there's always the uh, tips. You mustn't forget the tips. <laughs> you haven't changed. Goodbye, Ernest. Bye-bye. came out to lunch from Bautier. The one I left in his car last night, and this one, twin brothers. Now, I got one to tell you. When I was dressing this evening, a bank messenger came to the door of my flat and left a package.